Have you ever noticed small channels along gravel roads after a heavy rain, or piles of gravel washing down from a driveway onto a paved road? Perhaps you've noticed quite a bit of sediment in streams that are adjacent to gravel roads. These are signs that the gravel roads and driveways are eroding and washing away with the rain into nearby streams. Small eroding sites can turn into big erosion problems, particularly after large storm events, and can be costly to fix, particularly if the erosion degrades roadside ditches or clogs drainage culverts. I could see when it was raining how much material was going into the brook just from this driveway, just from this one driveway. And for years we've battled the driveway. We've had lots of soils brought in, truckloads of soils brought in to try to maintain it. There are more private road miles than state highway miles in Vermont. That's not even including driveways, and the sediment and nutrients from these roads have a big impact on Vermont's rivers and lakes. The state of Vermont maintains state highways, and municipalities are responsible for the proper upkeep of town roads to prevent erosion. However, private landowners are responsible for maintaining private roads and driveways. Some private roads and driveways, particularly if they are on steep terrain or drain into town roadside ditches or adjacent waterways, can cause significant impacts to town or state roads. Property owners can implement practices to slow it, spread it, and sink it, which slow water down, spread it out, and sink the water into the ground. These actions keep rainwater or snowmelt from eroding away your road or driveway and will save both you and taxpayers money. Here's how. Slow down water running off roads and driveways using practices such as check dams in ditches or small settling pools. Add vegetation or rocks in ditches to create enough of a rough surface to slow water down. The water pools behind, the sediment drops out, then it goes on to the next one and so on down it gets to the stream and hopefully by that time there's very little sediment, the water's pretty clear. Keep water from concentrating. Divert and spread it in different directions away from roads and nearby streams and into vegetated areas. What we try to do is spread it out at the top of the driveway using water bars uh, and what I call side water bars from the driveway. We split it up so it doesn't uh, get a, a large quantity flow that can be more erosive to the driveway or the ditches. There's a culvert here that would always get filled up and the water bars directed the soils more off the side of the driveway instead of filling the culvert. Infiltrate water into the ground. Divert runoff to flat, permeable areas, allowing it to slow down and soak into the ground. It's amazing that once you see these control points, they, they gather up the material, I mean, they hold it back, and almost nothing gets down to the brook. I mean, not even water, but certainly not, certainly not any sediment. It's worked for us with the ditching that we've had over the years and, and crowning the driveways and doing um, now this water barn. And it was noticeable that there wasn't a lot of gravel at the end of the driveway. These types of practices are simple and save money in the long run. Visit this website to learn more about the practices you can use to save your private road or driveway and help your local stream, lake, pond, or wetland stay clean.